Welcome again to More Than Just Friends, short videos on single functions of Mannequin's Just Friends module. In today's video, we'll be looking at a vanilla option, pulse width modulation tracking using the basic sustained sound mode, get your Nick Bat memes on the ready, and let's get started. Just Friends has three sound rate speed options, with the second being the sustained sound setting. This switch combination transforms the module into six oscillators made animate via external audio rate sources. That means you'll need a second VCO in order to get those sweet, sweet trapezoids to start chirping. And today, we'll be using a mannequin's mangrove for just that purpose. When the term trapezoid VCO is first heard, it might not make much sense. What kind of waveform is a trapezoid? A skewed square? A severely flattened triangle? A folded sine wave that has suffered a head injury? Rather than thinking of it as a transformation, think of the trapezoid as a state variable sound, as it tracks the width of its master clock source, the VCO used to drive Just Friends. Since it will track its incoming pulse width, the output will alter timbre as the duty cycle increases or decreases. To hear this in action, we wired up the bare minimum required to get a sound out of Just Friends. Mangroves is receiving the pitch CV and is setting its formant out to the rightmost trigger input of Just Friends. We are monitoring the output coming from mix with the pitch set being a simple ascending C major scale. Mangroves has barrel at noon, air at three o'clock, and formant at 11 o'clock. Let's listen to the sound when all of Just Friends knobs are at noon. When we shift the formant of mangroves via the knob, the pulse width, and thus timbre, moves with it. Here we're starting with formant fully counterclockwise, then rotate to full clockwise while playing the same scale back, this time going through a Laurentide Synthworks LPG first. For now, we'll leave formants and air parked where they were before and move on to shifting the knobs on Just Friends one at a time, starting with intone. Note how drastically the sound can change with just one small adjustment. To finish things, we'll show off the benefits of using CV. An IntelliGel dual ADSR is sending a short envelope to curve and a slower one to time while an LFO is being sent to intone with an inverted copy going to ramp. The sequence is coming from the BeatStep Pro with full randomization.
With that, we'll close the book on Just Friends today. Hopefully this has opened up the uses of this ever-widening module as a sub-octave generator, chaotic sync PCO, or whatever else it could become. Feel free to ask questions or leave comments below, and I'll be back soon with another short look at this versatile piece of hardware.